Hey everybody, so I have a little haul that I got from scrapbook.com and I wanted to share it with you. So I had to make a purchase because they had a crazy good freebie the other day and I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. It was just too good. Okay, so I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. <clears throat> got this card for SBC Fest and I bought, I really needed foam tape. So this is the first time I'm using scrapbook.com's foam tape. This is a quarter inch foam adhesive roll. It's a good thickness. It's not the new super thin one that they came out with, um, but I really needed some white foam adhesive, uh, foam tape. I have black, but I wanted some white, especially because of the new bling from A Color for Life Designs. I've got to make some shaker cards, you guys. I took a little bit of a break making them here and there occasionally, but it's time to jump back in to the shaker cards. So get ready for that. And then I also got these dies from Avery L. I don't, they're called Everyday Alphas. I thought it was a really cute font. I have a couple of, um, kind of blocky fonts from other companies and they're great I use them all the time but I needed something that was a little bit more playful so this fit the bill I thought it was great and then this was the freebie you guys this Tim Holtz die set like I couldn't pass this up it was just too good so you have all of these fonts in here I'll open it up really quick not fonts excuse me sentiments and you can totally make them with shakers because okay so this is best day ever you can see that this is all raised but there's no cutting edge here so you can put this anywhere on your project and it's just going to cut out those words and not a box around it. so this is like screaming shaker card again why I had to get the foam um <laughs> So I think it's going to be really cool. And then you wind up with all of these letters that you can save or inlay or whatever. So it's going to be a lot of fun to work with. And these are just great sentiments. Focus on the good. Make a wish. Thank you so much. So I was really excited about this and I had to share it with you. That's everything I got. So it wasn't a big, wasn't a big haul at all, but I needed these things and this freebie was just too good to pass up so awesome stuff from scrapbook.com i'm very excited to use it you'll be seeing them all very soon in a video it's been a few days since i received my scrapbook.com order and i was waiting for this to show up and something else that i'm going to show you in a minute um, this is something from altenew i received an email from them saying we would love to send you a set of our new markers you just have to pay for shipping. And I was like, well, I am kind of a marker fanatic. I have, I want to say 11 different brands of markers and I was excited to try these out. So check this out. Ooh, I got a coupon, 5% off your next order. Very nice. So these are the Hawaiian Shores dual tip pens. I had first heard about these, um, besides from Altenew directly, um, my friend Amy from Amy's Wares, she has been collecting these sets. I think that there's maybe four different color palettes out right now. Um, this one is the most Roy G. Biv, I guess, out of all of them. The other ones have um, some pinks and teals and, and things like that. But oh, look at this case. This is kind of like the case that the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens come in. I have the, the large box of that. Um, and I, I like these. They're pretty durable. And this slides out. I've never used these before. You saw me just open it. I don't have the other sets. Let me grab um, some paper and we can take a, look, take a look at the colors. All right, I grabbed some scraps. I'm not going to do a full test on everything, but um, this is Canson Mixed Media Paper. This is um, Accent Opaque. And then this is Bristol from Strathmore. So uh, let's just try the red. Let's start with that. Let's take a look at these tips. So it's a brush tip, but it's not um, it's not a brush, a, a true brush the way the zigs are. It's more of a foam, it looks like. And then on the other side, we have this 
tiny nib, which is great for writing. Very cool. Okay, let's take a look at this color. Let's start on the, the accent opaque. Oh, it's nice. It's pretty firm. I don't, uh, I don't do hand lettering. <laughs> I, I've done it a little bit in the past, but I, I don't really know the right methods. But this seems like it would be good for hand lettering. Let's see that other side. Oh, that's cute. That's a nice size. That's really small. That would be great for fine detail work. That's a nice red, too. It's looking a little bit brighter on camera than it is in person. It's kind of a lumberjack plaid color, I want to say. Let me grab my swatches. That's aged mahogany, I think. No, that's fire brick. Let's see. Yes. So to me, in real life, these colors are very similar. Granted, this is Distress, completely different company from Altenew, but just to give you an idea of what this red looks like in person, because it's looking way brighter on camera, um, it's very much like a lumberjack plaid. Let's try it on the Bristol. And I'll have to grab a brush. Oh, it sits on top nicely. I can see that it's not really soaking in the same because that's, you know, accent opaque, it soaks in. Bristol kind of sits on top. Very pretty. Let's see. Let me grab some water and a brush and see how that reacts. It might not. I'm not really sure. Um, because this is, they're calling this a dual tip pen, not a marker. So they're not calling it like a watercolor marker. Let's see if it moves. Oh, you can get it to blend. Look at that. So that's on the mixed media. Check that out. It's it's blending out nicely. I don't really like to use um, water on my accent opaque, but it's look at how that's moving. That's coming right. Like I can remove that line, and red is tricky because it tends to just not want to go away. That's cool. That's unexpected. I love that. And these dual tip pens are a really great price. Um, I was really excited that I got a set, but I was thinking about trying them out anyway. Do they have names on here? This is called Firefly. It even tells you what collection it's from, which is really cool. Let's see how we can get this to blend. This is the just green color. Probably should have started with the darkest and worked my way to light, but that's okay. This one's called Evergreen. And then let's go back. That's blending. I'm getting a little bit of pilling. That could be the paper. It's not bad though. I mean, if I if I play around with it a little bit more, take some more time, I think that I can get some nice blending going. Very cool. I'm excited to try these out. Um, thank you to Altenew for contacting me about this because I am super excited. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a more complete review on them. Um, I'd be happy to do that um, because they're really great. I'm so satisfied so far. All right. Let's move on. I'm excited about these, you guys. I love markers. I like the case that they're in. Yeah, I think that we might need to do a review. What do you guys think? A full review. Okay. Moving on. Let me get my water out of the way here. I was contacted by somebody I know named Rachel. Um, we actually got to meet at um, a craft retreat that I taught at in Seattle a few years ago. She's on the Poppy Stamps design team, and she contacted me asking if I would like to be a, um, 
excuse me, a guest designer for the month of March. And I said, well, absolutely, that would be amazing. So I was able to choose some items. Some of these items I purchased myself um, and some they sent to me. But I'm really excited to play with all of these. I got a lot of stuff, guys. They were having a crazy good sale. And, ooh, enjoy a free gift. Check this out. Ooh. We have some envelopes here. Look at how shiny they are. These are beautiful. What great... Oh, look, their color on the inside, too. These are really nice. What great envelopes. And then we have some cardstock. This is such a nice shade of green. I look forward to using this. So exciting. Okay, let's move this over. So let's go through all of the things that I, I have here. This is the Nordic bird. Um, you can get these birds in a set of six, but I opted to just get one. Um, just to see, you know, I'm sure I'm going to wind up using it a whole lot. You can see in the back here that it shows you all the different pieces that come in here. Um, but I think they're really cute, these birds. So I opted to get just the one. Then we have the Lucky Layered Flowers. And you can layer them however you like. That's going to be fun to do. So you get all of these dies. Let's see if they're um, close to size. I have a number of dies from Poppy Stamps already. Um, you might have seen me use them before. Some word dies and some dies that are good for shakers and things like that. Ooh, this is cool. They're all on one. So this is great if you like to color your your dies, your die cuts, I should say, um, after you've cut them out or even beforehand. Maybe you've got a scrap of like a stenciled paper or something and you don't love how it looks or an old gel press print or something. You can just die cut it all at once and then add some extra color if you want to. But that's pretty true to size. Very cool. I'm excited to play with this. Okay. Then I have the leafy vine corner. Isn't that so pretty? Uh, when I first saw this, I was crazy about it. And that's why I chose to get the Lucky Layered Flowers, because I think that they're going to look so pretty on here. Loving that. Okay. I couldn't resist this, you guys. <laughs> the Whittle Witch. So they have a whole collection that has the word Whittle instead of Little. But look at how cute she is. The little cauldron and the hat. And at the time of the order that I placed, these things were like crazy discounted. I don't know if they're still available or not. Um, I'll have links to everything below in my description box. You just have to click the more button and then it'll expand, you know, the, the description. Um, but when I purchased from them, the stuff was really at a crazy good price. I got the Whittle Jellyfish. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Wouldn't it be great to use like opalescent colors, Lindy's Magicals, or maybe different, um, inks that are in opalescent colors like lavender and peach and a little yellow, some pink and blue, uh, maybe a little lime green, just soft though, soft to make it look like it's, you know, opalescent. I don't know. I got this. <laughs> Do you guys know the, um, the song, the hippopotamus for Christmas song? I am not going to sing it for you. Look it up. It's great. <laughs> My husband sings it <laughs> as a goof. Um, my sister Pam loves hippos so much. So this was like a twofer. I'm going to make him cards with the hippo and I'm going to make my sister cards with the hippo and I'm going to turn it into a Christmas hippo. I don't know. It's just, it's so cute. I couldn't resist. Then we have the Whittle Papa Hedgehog because I mean, come on, so adorable. We've got to get him out. We've got to release him from his packaging to see what he looks like. Come on out, fella. Oh, he's so cute. What a good size. Right? Isn't he a good size? And you can totally pair this with 
you know, stamped images. You don't have to just use die cut. So if you have like some lawn fawn stamps that you want to use, whatever, you can totally use this widow hedgehog with them. So cute. Okay. This is really cool. Actually, I'm going to save that for the end. I also got this stamp set. Um, this is another thing that was like deeply discounted. It's, um, the nine by six and a half inch stamp set. I thought that this was so pretty, but even beyond just that, the sentiments are really pretty. They say such wonderful things. I really like the font. Um, you don't have to use them all completely. Like you are truly wonderful in every way. That's a great sentiment, but maybe you just wanted to say you are truly wonderful. You can just mask that off and just put that, you know, um, there was another one, your ray of sunshine in my life. But if you want just that piece because of the way it fits on your card or project, whatever, you can just kind of make them a little smaller if you need to, which I thought was really cool. But this is so pretty and these all fit right in here, which is awesome. Okay. So this is called, sorry, I don't think I mentioned that. I don't remember what it's called. Let me look on my packing list here. Um, ba, 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 ba. Diamond Sentiments Clear Stamp Set. That's what this is. The Diamond Sentiments Clear Stamp Set. So nice. I can't wait to use that. Okay, so this is what I'm most excited about. This basic junk journal kit set. There are a ton of dies in here. And you can make junk journals really easily or other things. It doesn't have to just be a junk journal. You can use a lot of these elements on um, tags and cards and oh, it's on a magnetic sheet. <gasps> Bonus points. How cool is this? So this is the, I guess the journal itself. If you want it to be, you can also just use it on its own and have like a flap on a card front or inside or something. But I really liked all of these other bits. This is an envelope. So you, you die cut this whole piece and then there's little score lines here. You can see that this is the flap. So this is the bottom of the envelope that folds up. These fold inside. And then this is the flap that goes on the top, right? So isn't that fun? You have this pocket that has like a corrugated edge to it. So you can have, you know, you can put tags in here or little love notes or something. I don't know. It's just, I was really intrigued by this set and I am so excited to play with it. Look at these fancy corners. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So this is what I got from Poppy Stamps. So next month in March, look forward to um, seeing my guest design spot with Poppy. Thank you so much, Rachel, for contacting me. I'm so excited. I'm going to be using all of these goodies a lot. And again, if you want to see a full review on the dual tip pens from Baltanu. Let me know. Let me grab those again. I only have this set, but we can do a good, a good kind of run through with, with these. Um, and I think that's about it. So thanks so much for checking out my haul. I hope you liked a couple of these things. Let me know in the comments, um, what you thought was the most exciting. I'll see you guys really soon. All right. Be well, stay safe. Peace out.